Sans s'en fourrer. Sans fourrer. Sans To the story I'm about to tell Another tale about that yell Little girl once innocent and sweet 14 introduced to the street Started Today on Questions on a Couch We have William E. Bora He was state senator from Idaho for 30 years from 1906 to 1936 and was famous for being a Republican progressive who voted against his party often. He was on Time Magazine's cover in 1924. First, how did you get your start? What? Who Will done it? said that? Was that you? Uh, you're, on the, you're on the show. Questions from the couch, remember? You oh, oh, doggone. I forgot. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Alright. First, how did you get your start? Well, um, I'm originally from Illinois, and um, I went to school at the University of Kansas, the esteemed Institute of Technology, and I passed, I done passed the bar exam, and I, I done start practicing law around, I believe, about uh, 1890 or so. Enthralling. How did you earn your nickname, the Great Opposer, per chance? Well, I, well, I'm a man of principle. I ain't some whipping boy. I don't just do what my fellow Republicans don't do. I do what I feel what I should do. I see. What is your view on foreign policy? Son of a bitch, I hate it. God damn it. America is America. America isn't some done be associating with them in Europe. I didn't like the Treaty of Versailles, nor the League of Nations. I, I done oppose imperialism. And we're back with more questions on a couch. Well, Mr. Bora, what types of laws and bills did you support while you were in the Senate? Well, I did very most certainly approve of such legislation that engendered the Department of Labor and the Children's Bureau. I generally was adverse to the New Deal of FDR, but particularly I esteemed old age pensions. You ran for president. Did you win? That's just a joke. You lost. I did lose, but I was the first man from Idaho to run against Republican legislature. So did you accomplish anything of interest while you were in the Senate? Yes, matter of fact, I did. They named Idaho's tallest and most majestic mountain after me. They don't call it Bora Peak. And also, don't tell the soul, but I had a very long relationship with Roosevelt's daughter Alice. Especially don't tell Theodore Roosevelt. How dare you Hello? Tell her there is Roosevelt's daughter. Oh my! Don't slam it! Show's over, mother.